I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. The sheriff and the clerk have reached an accord, and this is in the history books. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley and Clerk of Court Tom Bexley met Thursday. Together, they walked the courthouse floor by floor, analyzing space. County Administrator Jerry Cameron. I just received a call from the sheriff that they had resumed talks. And then he later called me and told me that they had reached an accord. But I really don't care what the details are as long as both of them are satisfied. This will avoid the need for costly litigation or space rental for the sheriff. Both Bexley and Staley will be on Free For All Friday at 9 a.m. following Flagler's Morning News. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. More citizen-centric, that's how Palm Coast City Manager Matt Morton is touting the city's new reorganization. At the Flagler Association of Realtors breakfast, he touted new projects, including a potential university presence in the city. At the event, Flagler County Commission Chairman Donald O'Brien was asked about the future of the vacated Sheriff's Office Operations Center in Bunnell. He said he wouldn't make any quick decisions until he had all the facts. He also called this a rocky year for Flagler County, from the resignation of County Administrator Craig Coffey to the future of Captain's Barbecue in Bing's Landing. But he also touted the county's successes, including a multi-million dollar dune restoration project and new emergency communications. Also at the breakfast was Benel Mayor Katherine Robinson, Flagler Beach Mayor Linda Preventure, and Beverly Beach Mayor Steve Evans. A Flagler County couple is getting ready to show off their chili cooking for charity. Rich Petschke has the story. Palm Coast residents Larry Waltakal and his wife will be heading to Des Moines, Iowa for the 53rd annual ICS World Championship Chili Cook-Off. My wife Jan will be cooking in the Chili Verde and the uh, Veggie Division, and I will be cooking in the Red Division, the Verde Division, the Home Style Division, and the Veggie Division. The couple won 10 cook-offs to qualify for the national competition, which Larry says offers some pretty big prize money. For first place, uh, winning the Red Division is $25,000. First place in the Verde Division is 10000 The uh, Home Style will be 10000 and Veggie Division will be $5,000. This year's competition takes place between September 6th and September 9th. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rick Fetchman. Children are having a great time at the Kids Fishing Clinic. Tony Magoo has the details. The 10th Annual Kids Fishing Clinic was held July 13th at Bing's Landing in Palm Coast. The Flagler Sports Fishing Club, who co-sponsored that event, said that 249 kids and about 400 people attended the event. We had single moms, grandparents, parents bring kids to the event, said Club President Captain Chuck Gleichman. We doubled the number of educational stations this year, and everyone flowed through quickly, learning about everything from fish habitat and conservation to how to throw a cast net, he added. The Flagler Sports Fishing Club, along with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, Fish Florida, and volunteers set up six skill stations that taught everyone about casting, knot tying, and proper fish handling. After hitting all six stations, fishermen received a good angler award. The first 200 kids got a free fishing rod donated by Fish Florida, and each kid also got a free hot dog and a water donated by the Flagler Sports Fishing Club. Good time was had by all. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. There's a new rule if you're campaigning for a candidate. Flagler County Elections Supervisor Katie Lenhart says the new rule moves campaigners another 50 feet away from those coming to the polls. Campaign people and all campaign activities and solicitation has to be 150 feet away from the polling place entrance. Lenhart says that that's not only true on Election Day, but for early voting as well. You can hear the entire interview on the Free For All Friday podcast. You can find that at the Flagler Radio app. Download the Flagler Radio app today. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.